today we are going to make some damn good chili, so stay tuned. Let's get straight to it. It's going to be good. So I have spared you watching me cut up all this stuff. I went ahead and got it all chopped up. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut up our vegetables, whatever you want to use in your chili. People use different things. I'm using two fresh tomatoes from the garden, green bell pepper, celery, and onion. Now celery and chili is actually really good. Someone told me about it years ago and I started putting it in my chili and it just, you really can't tell it doesn't taste like celery, but I don't know, it gives it an extra crunch and it's really good. Then I'm going to take this pepper. I do not know what kind of pepper this is. Um, a friend of my mom's gave it to her and all I know it is very hot, supposedly. Uh, they are, uh, they like cooking with these kind of peppers to heat their stuff up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the smoker for about 30 minutes or so, and I'm going to let these get smoke taste to them. So, we're going to make like a smoked chili. Now, I recommend if you're going to smoke any of your vegetables, or you can do your meat, or you could even actually make your chili and then put it in the smoker to cook to flavor it that way. Use a pan that you don't care that's going to get ruined because this is what it's going to look like. And no, I mean, I've scrubbed it and scrubbed it, and it's just that smoke stains it after a while. So, um, we're going to put this in the smoker, and I will show you what it's like here in just a minute. We got the vegetables in the smoker. I went ahead and turned them on high because we're only going to do them for like 30 minutes. Um, well, they'll be, they'll be in there longer than 30 minutes because by the time it heats up and starts smoking and everything, then I'm going to let them smoke for 30 minutes. So while they are smoking, we are going to get our other things ready. So we're going to start off by browning all of our I'm hamburgers. Brown hamburger here. And now if you are making like a huge pot of hamburger, you may want to use more than just a pound, but I'm just making it in the Insta pot, so I'm only using a pound of hamburger. Now, you could also add to this sausage if you wanted to, um, ground turkey, ground chicken, if you wanted to, you know, if you're doing a healthier version, you could do the ground turkey, and it's actually really good with ground turkey. So, we're just going to finish getting this browned up. And, um, the our hamburger's finished and frying up. I went ahead and put into the, this is not a name brand Instapot, it's Pressure Pro, but it works the same way, and I love it. I use it for everything. So, I put two cans of light red kidney beans in here, 16 ounce cans. I put the broth and everything in with it. Um, we're going to use one container of tomato sauce and it is um, 29 ounces. So we're going to use that. We'll go ahead and dump that in there. Now we may have to add some more tomato sauce. I don't think we should for the amount that I'm making. Now you'll have to adjust your tomato sauce according to, um, you know, the size of the recipe that you're making because, you know, you may be making for a lot more people. I'm only cooking for two people, so I'm not making quite as much. I just want enough for dinner tonight and freeze a couple containers to have for a couple more dinners. So. Um, finish frying our hamburger and get it put in here and then we will go check on our vegetables in the smoking and I went ahead and dumped it over in here. If you want to be extra healthy um, you can drain your hamburger, rinse it off to get the extra grease off of it and I'm actually eating healthier right now uh, so I didn't rinse my hamburger off I just didn't put all the grease in here with it so um, we're going to go check on our vegetables and see what they look like. 
I think they need just a little Our bit Our vegetables longer. isn't quite done yet. I went ahead and added my seasonings. I don't have a packet of chili seasoning mix or else I would have used it. So here's what I've done. I did about one teaspoon of celery seed. I did one tablespoon of ground paprika. Just a wee little pinch of nutmeg. Like I don't even, probably not even enough to measure just a pinch in my finger you don't want a bunch of it because you don't want it to taste like nutmeg but just an, just enough that it gives it a little bit of a different taste that you're like hmm that's good but you know you don't even realize it's nutmeg and then chili powder i done two tablespoons ground cumin i done two tablespoons i uh, done about a tablespoon of ground black pepper. So we are going to go check on the vegetables again and see if they're ready so we can get this started. So our vegetables is finally good and smoked. Uh, they smoked about 30 minutes once it got to smoking really good. And we're not going to have to add any more juice because you can't really see it that well. But there is uh, juice in here from the tomatoes so we'll get this added into our pressure pro all right we got those added got the lid on mixed make sure this is on seal and we're going to do soup stew everything's already done so we're going to go with the 25 minutes just to let it uh get good and all those flavors blended so once it comes up to pressure it'll cook for 25 minutes and it will be delicious